Question number five. Calculate 56 divided by 4. There are two ways you can do this. Method number one, which is the most efficient way, is called the bush shell tip. And we set it up like this. The number you're dividing by goes in front of the bus shelter. The number that you're actually dividing goes inside the bus shelter. And you say, how many fours go into five? How many fours go into five? One lot of four will go into five, but then there's one left over, one remainder. And the one remainder gets carried to the next column to turn the six into 16. So now this makes 16. Now we've already dealt with the 5, so now we move on to the 16. How many 4s go into 16? The answer is 4 4s are 16, and there's none left over, so there's nothing else to carry over. Therefore, the answer is completed. So, 56 divided by 4 is 14, because the answer appears at the top. So, 14 is what goes in there. However, there is a different method that you may be aware of, and the different method is called the chunking method. Now, the chunking method is all about repeated subtraction, where you are subtracting chunks, chunks of 4 from 56 until you've got nothing left. So, for example, this is how you would do the chunking method on this question. So, we could subtract a chunk, a nice easy chunk of 4s from 56. A nice easy chunk of 4s would be 10 4s because 10 fours are 40 so that would be a nice easy one to do so if we subtract 10 fours from 56 always write at the side what you're subtracting so 10 fours are 40 so let's subtract that 6 take away 0 is 6 5 take away 4 is 1 so we're left with 16 so what chunk of fours can we subtract from 16 well if you know your 4 times table it goes 4, 8 12, 16, so that's 4 4s, so right at the side what chunk of 4s you're subtracting, well 4 4s are 16, so when we subtract that, 6 take 6 is 0, 1 take 1 is 0, so we've got nothing left. Now the whole point of chunking is that when you've got nothing left, you add up your chunks. We've got a chunk of 10 there, and a chunk of 4 there, a chunk of 10 plus a chunk of 4 makes altogether a chunk of 14. So there are 14 4s in 56. Well, this gives us the same answer as we got from the more efficient bus shelter method at the top there.